The Guardsman. Written by Dr. K. Moonshard. Chapter 1. In Death, Duty Ends. This is Kadia, you silly fool. Kadia! Right on the doorway of chaos. Right in the heart of everything. The secret of evil is so great, I have a hundred active cults to subdue every month. This place breeds recivists like ponds breed scum. This is Cadia. This is the gate of the eye. This is where the bloody work of the Inquisition is done. Inquisitor General Neve Introduction Deep within the Milky Way galaxy, it is the 41st millennium. Countless suffering of unimaginable proportions. Across the Milky Way galaxy, on hundreds of planets, on thousands of battlefields, millions of men and women fought, bled, and died for the two-headed eagle. Many men and women born into a galaxy of war, molded by it, embraced it, and were made all the more lethal by it. This was the stand of a millennia, a war for the tremendous holy imperium, humanity, and all life of the galaxy between the forces of chaos, all working to achieve one goal, only to have the Eye of Terror expand. As it grew an alarming rate for a moment, it pulsed. The heretical war master of chaos corrupted, once wholly adept to Sistardi's space marine, Abaddon the Despoiler led his destructive 13th Black Crusade of the Black Legion, assisted by the followers and worshippers of the four Chaos Gods and their demons standing aboard his flagship, the Vengeful Spirit, and the Chaos Black Legion soldiers' successors of one of the sons of the Emperor Legions, the sons of Horus, Lunar Wolves. But something prohibited him from pressing this campaign further. Not any fleet nor armada, but a planet, a fortress world, be exact. A world that was prepared and ready for war. A world that held Abaddon and his Black Crusade twelve times. For ten thousand years. And it was held that line till now. This fortress world was Cadia Prime. Abaddon now desiring for the destruction of Cadia, he stands looming over the gates of the fortress world, from his flagship over the orbit of the planet, to see the planetary Necreon pylon shoot to the heart of the Eye of Terror. But this isn't about our antagonist Abaddon, or the forces of Chaos, or the sacred space marine chapters of the Imperial Fists, the Space Wolves, Black Templars, or any space marine, or the Mechanicus of Holy Mars, or the Sacred Holy Order of the Inquisition, or the Sisters of Battle of the Adeptus Sororitas. We focus on the Astra Militarum. The great Imperial Guard of trillions of humans, men and women from billions of worlds that form the Great Imperium, the true backbone of humanity, the first of the front lines in all war across the galaxy. One stood against all others around him, was a son of Cadia, destined to die on the battlefield, another face statistic to be used in slaughter by uncaring generals and officers. A planet-white war that lost millions to billions of souls, but regained ten more to take the fallen place. A great fortress world that had fought against the Eye of Terror and against the forces of Chaos, both Heretic, Traitor, and Daemon, holding the line that was soon to come a horrific demise. As the Cadian Guardsmen put into defending the planet and died defending Cadia Prime. A task only the Cadian Guardsmen of Cadia were fit to do. Like the rest of his regiment, was deployed onto the planet with only one goal in mind. Hold the line, or die crying. And die they did, trying their damn best to complete their objective. After continuous painstaking pushback, Kedia inched towards victory, paying in blood for any minuscule kilometer gained. Today we have our eyes set on one Imperial Guard, one trueborn of the fortress world of Cadia Prime, the Cadian Karskin veteran soldier, standing entrenched in the front of one of Cadia's many fortresses, aiming down the built-in sides of his Helga and Lucius pattern hotshot Lasgun, 
shooting out semi-burst of flash shot energy beams along with the firing line of his battle companions, barely surviving the shots fired back, being either Laz, Plasma, Bolter, Explosive, or Artillery. He stood leaning against the trench wall, firing at all that was in charge of the line, not even counting friendly fire, firing at the chaos traitors and heretics that dared set foot on his home, his world, and now they wish to destroy it. The battle was a gruesome defense, a defense stood over 10,000 years when the situation went from bad to worse. Chaos arrived in full force. Fighting continued regardless, but the situation took a downward spiral for the worse when their position was suddenly full of Chaos Space Marines and Corn Demons. The traitor Astartes had dropped in from orbit, and the fighting was fierce. Thousands died. The ground was awash with blood rivers, uncaring whether it was Imperial or traitor blood. The first line of the trenches was hopelessly overwhelmed. The Imperials butchered. Die, filthy traitor scum! May you rot back to the fuckhole you and your demons came from as the cursed heretic traitors you are! A guardsman screamed out, firing at the traitor corn demons of the Black Crusade, only being sliced in a horrific sight as his body split into two, separating his torso from his legs and blood gushing out like a bloodied fountain and his corpse burnt to singes. To think that humans, ordinary mortal men and women, even the Holy Space Marines fall into the temptation of Chaos forces to destroy humanity to set the galaxy burning in flame. In the second line of defense, the Cadian Karskin watched the advancing wave of Traitor Legion army stoically, carefully aiming with his platoon and opening fire. He has been fighting for only 20 of the 10 millennia that the war has taken place, and was eager to make this his last with only the thought infuriating him with his home, the world he was born in, the face and fall to such an enemy. Now he stands with trillions of other mortal humans like him, all fighting to survive and keep the gaze closed from the eye of terror. Their opening artillery bombardment annihilated the first wave. The second bombardment pulverized the second wave. Before the traitors reached the trenches, the third wave was barely gunned down. They were in fierce melee with traitor and imperial forces fighting tooth and nail in the mud and blood. They were hopelessly overwhelmed by the fourth wave, but they kept fighting on regardless. There will be no surrender, no retreat. This is Cadia Prime, the gate right on the mouth, the eye of terror. A loud explosion came, causing the ground to shake tremendously, followed by the sound of a powerful energy beam are seeing off the horizon, seeing a green energy beam shoot up in the dark black atmosphere and covered by the rain of chaos marine drop pods, the smoke of fires and imperial naval ships casting shadows in the skies, holding just outside the planet in the void of space. Fighting against the chaos vessels as he fights on the ground, the very world against man's enemies, the beam combined with other identical beams, almost forming a cone-like shape, then the combined beam shot straight to the eye of terror as one enormous collective shot. He watched in awe, but was quickly pulled back to the front, continuing to lay fire to have every energy shot after shot, quickly leaving his hell gun cool as the barrel glowed a dim red for a short moment, then went repeating, laying down blazing energy fire on the charging demons and firing traitors, concentrating on vital points of his enemies blowing off limbs from arms, legs, or head shotting for a quicker death of the enemy, even turning his hell gun to max charge and automatic for every shot, knowing this will drain him of his heavy power pack. Still, his mind was focused on the enemy that dared charge him, the gate to the Imperium and his fellow soldiers, following the will of that dark chaotic gods. This continued for two hours with artillery support and anti-aerial firebolt shots filling the skies. Valkyries, drop pods, and transport ships exploded in fire. Deaths crashing down onto the ground, even around the Cadian. He continues to lay down what would be called an excessive amount of suppressing fire, and the result looked to be finding that Cadia was pushing back the heretics, demons, and the traitors. The green energy beams that shot into the Eye of Terror seem to be doing something against the Chaos Forces, as seeing their demons die quicker and efficiently, 
His commanding officers ordered an all-out push assault against the traitor's and heretic forces, seeing that their primary support of demons was dying off. Then he heard the words that almost sounded like music to his ears, from his commissar's rough, raspy voice. Godsmen, fix bayonets! Fix bayonets! Cadia has held this line and we shall continue to hold this line! Never have these fiends dared set foot past us! Never have they dared breach through these very gates! We charge men today! We are more than men and women far from Holy Terra Star! Today we are defenders of humanity! Heroes of the Imperium! We are Cadia! In the last sentence the Commissar spoke, the Cadian quickly reached down to his trench knife sheath, pulled out a long blood smeared blade, and gripped both the handle of his trench knife and the hell gun's handle. Knowing that it is weak, but slight more powerful than other las guns against all types of foes that aren't human. He has faith in not only the great emperor of humanity bound into near death on the golden holy throne of Terra, but in his weapon and himself, watching all the other guardsmen mount their bayonets with smiles of vengeance and boosted morale. Shared the same thoughts as they all looked to the commissar to pull out a small whistle and revving of the engine of his chain sword. The sound of his chain sword engine roared as he held it up over his head and blew on the whistle. With the first three seconds of the whistle's charm, the Karskin Cadian, with all of his other guardsmen, let out their war cries and roars, climbing the ladder of the trenches and now charging following behind their commissar at the weakening chaos forces. They all aimed and fired their energy shots overhead, artillery explosions, light fighter bombs, and drop pods shattered giant areas of chaos and even a few of the demons. With the support of the Holy Space Marine chapters, the Sisters of Battle, and the Great Mechanicus, the Cadian felt a smile creep on his face, a smile of pride and honor that his faith was seen around him, all the great loyalists around him. Whether it was genetically modified super soldiers of the Holy Space Marine chapters, the Sisters of Battle vanquishing demons in blazing holy fire by heavy flamers and faith. With the sounds of tanks roaring engine, artillery musical beats of bombardment, and the proud cries of all finally pushing back the chaos forces, this was meant to serve humanity. He felt joyful pride. He smiled warmly under his carapace helmet and his service and that was nominated as a hero of humanity. Firing every 200 shots, firing every shot near depleting his power pack with his hellgun barrel glowing a hot orange glow. He lowered his hellgun, quickly adjusting to using his trench knife to charge up against a traitor soldier. The traitor screamed a giggling cry at him, gripping his scrap spiked axe as he rushed straight to the Karskin Cadian, but only to have his knife thrusting into the traitor's chest, puncturing through his ribs and lung. <laughs> Stupid Imperial dogs! Falling with corpse god, your blood will be mine, and your skull for corn's throne. The traitor screamed out before laughing like an insane madman as he gripped onto the Cadian's arm, raising his scrapped axe and swinging it down, striking the Cadian Karskin's right shoulder plate, denting his armor in but not puncturing through it. The Cadian twisted his knife downward, elbowing the traitor's head with a quick reflex making the traitor lose grip on his arm before he slashed out of his chest. Slicing down the traitor's st torso stomach open, his intestines poured out, forcing the traitor to grip what little of his intestines that hadn't poured out, only to have then the Karskin Cadian thrust the blade of his knife straight into the neck of the traitor, hearing him gurgle as blood fills his throat and pours out of it, combined with him lunging forward, forcing the traitor's soldier to fall on his back to the ground, and the Cadian to land on top of the traitor's body making the blade pierce through the traitor's neck, dying quickly. The Cadia quickly pulls back his knife, pushing himself up to his feet and charges the next traitor, only to be confronted by a Black Legion Chaos Space Marine, grabbing him by the neck, choking him, raising him up in the air in his tight grip. The Karskin Cadian dropped his Hellgun, causing the Chaotic Marine to slice the power cable, breaking off the Hellgun from its power pack and crushing it under his hardened metallic ceramite boot wrecking it and laughing a terrifying devilish laugh. He thrashes his leg to kick the Chaos Space Marine's arm as he uses both hands to grip his giant hand that was locked around his neck, trying to pry the Chaos Space Marine's grip on the Cadian's neck, only getting him no results for his attempts. Put 
pathetic sack of meat, serving a corpse guard, only to die in a battle such as this. You don't deserve to be labeled as a hero. Only just a meat shield for the humanity that abandoned you. To die for their pathetic plays. You mean nothing, and will be nothing, as I shall only laugh at your dead. The Black Legion Chaos Space Marine was cut off by taking three shots of bolter rounds to his chest plate. Looking to see who it was by a sister of battle, aiming her heavy bolter as she snarls, glaring at the Chaos Space Marine that held the Cadian before using his power sword to slice off the Karskin Cadian's left leg, cutting it off from his left thigh. He screams in agonizing pain before the Chaos Space Marine takes the shot of the Sister of Battle's bolter fire, making him stop and screaming out. Your fight is mine and my alone, traitor's heretical abomination of chaos! Making the Black Legion throw the Cadian behind him and fall into a trench, landing in a pool of mud and blood, coating his khaki uniform in olive green Karskin armor. He groaned in pain and exhaustion. He slowly lifted himself, sitting with his back leaning on the trench wall, to look around as corpses of dead traitors and Imperial soldiers, all stacked up or hanging by the edges around him in the trench. He faintly looked up above him, seeing the Eye of Terror was getting smaller than the last time he saw it with the green energy beams continuing to lay fire on it. The sound of screaming laughter overhead as he looked up and saw a large dark shadow coming down believed as some debris for some naval space vessels. The Cadian looked down at his missing cut off limb. He wondered what the pain of a power blade weapon would feel like, but now that he had, he wished he never thought of such questions. He slowly pushed himself up, wiping the blood and mud off his amputated leg, and gripped around his thigh to close and stop the excessive blood loss. Letting out a loud groaning grunts of pain, he reached out to grab the sleeve of a dead guardsman corpse, and with silently saying, I'm sorry, under his helmet's respirator, ripping off the sleeve from their khaki uniform, tearing a bit of it open enough to make a makeshift bandage, which he used to be around his thigh, and wrap it around so to cover his amputation. Bandaging it, seeing it bleed profusely still, his ears catch the sound of screams of fear and the traitor's laughter growing wilder and louder. The loyal dogs are running! Death to them all! Let none survive! The Cadian looked overhead through the orange cracked visor of his helmet and his entrenchment, and caught the sight of something that made his heart almost stop out of pure horror and fear. The atmosphere of Cadia, and coming down to the planet's surface, really, really fast. A giant blackstone fortress or the remains of one from orbit, was seen being pushed by six, maybe seven of Chaos vessels as their ship's engines were set to max burning blast, pushing the remains of the broken fortress down to Cadia, and all he could hear surrounding him overhead was the screaming maniacal laughter of heretics and traitors as they say the names of their dark gods and perform their brutal quick rituals and attempts of being more than mortal, ascend to a higher being of power. Out of all things, the Cadian lies in the trench, gripping his amputated leg, things back to watch. The falling Blackstone Fortress descends to hit the planet just past the horizon. For a moment, he closes his eyes, knowing that even though he was just a human, a weak man thrown to fight godlike beings in an eternal war, given only weapons as vital as being blinded by a flashlight, and armor as fragile as paper. He slowly takes a deep breath, in, and collapsing both of his blood mud stained gloves together as he makes his final prayer. My armor is contempt. He spoke softly to himself. The sounds of hissing and roars were heard as they were demons seeing the Cadian prayer. You heard them coming closer to him. My shield is disgust. My sword is hatred. He moved his hands, unclasping them as he reached behind him, wrapping and gripping something tightly into his hilly belt rested under his broken power pack. The Emperor's name. He says out to the demons, pulling out a plasma grenade he remembers stealing from a rogue traitor and holding it tightly to his chest, 
snapping his eyes open and staring at the red, disgusting, snarling demon faces. Off on the horizon, seeing the remains of the Blackstone Fortress come crashing to the planet's surface, the crust exploded, causing a large cloud wave to form and slowly spread. Throwing rocks, debris, and then even the planet's magma spewed out with the cloud. The bastards really did it. They destroyed the world. And Cadia Prime was lost. The Cadian hoped that the planetary evacuation was successful. He probably assumed that many like him didn't make it to the evac ships, and held his stare, snarling at the demons that surrounded him, ready to kill him and whatever horrors he could think of off his corpse. He moved his right hand to unclip his respirator and helmet, taking it off his head, letting his brown chestnut color mohawk and tannish dirty skin breathe the hot air that slowly came, and left his cradling the plasma grenade close to his chest, staring with his purple brown hue colored eyes, locked with the demons. Let none survive. He finishes his prayer, quoting the Cadian Creed, and pulls the pin of the plasma grenade as a loud beeping sound is heard, growing louder and louder by the seconds. He smiles a proudful smile on his face and chuckles at the demons that charge him, only to be blinded by a bright flaming blast of light with extreme heat overlapping his face and hands. The Carson Cadian assumes it is finished. He served the Emperor's will and humanity and had died a hero for Cadia and the Imperium. For in the great, far, grimdark future of the 41st millennium, there is nothing but only war. Accessing identification data. ID name. Thorn Mad Dog Gray. ID number. IG dash six zero four two zero nine dash zero two zero dash eight zero seven guardsman occupation Cadian Karskin veteran sergeant major of the eighth Cadian regiment Imperial Guard current status deceased KIA of the planetary ground defense of Cadia Prime against the thirteenth Black Crusade Emperor protects Mission status, total failure. Casualty reports, tens of billions dead or corrupted, including almost all of 850 million people of Cadia Prime. Battle report, after the excavation of estimated 3 million citizens, planetary political advisors, artifacts and guardsmen officers, and the remaining soldiers of Cadia Prime, the traitor Black Legion of Abaddon success in ramming in the remains of the Blackstone Fortress, the Will of Eternity, to Cadia's surface, causing planetary destruction, and the fortress would fall to... Recalculating. Error. 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 Warp... Erfish... Detected. Rebooting. ID name. Thorn Mad Dog Gray. ID number. IG-604-209. Dash zero two zero dash eight zero seven Guardsman Occupation Cadian Karskin Veteran Sergeant Major of the Eighth Cadian Regiment Imperial Guard Current Status Stabilized Unconscious Days Slumber in the Everfree Forest of the Two Sisters Castle Ruins of Equestria of System Name Here Awaiting Command and Further Instructions <laughs> 